Hey guys, Mystic here. So there was a new enchantment update yesterday and I want to run through it real quick with you guys to show you how to get the max amount of EXP per day for your enchantment level. The first addition to the enchantment update is the new enchantment table interface and how you enchant items. So basically you stick them in here, any item or any enchantable item, and you can add or remove or add and remove different enchantments. And as you can see here, if I go into growth and Romano Root Growth 5, oh, it costs a bit of experience levels, so we're just going to give ourselves 50 levels here. And what we can do is we can remove the Growth 5 enchant. Now that gives us 2,000 experience levels, and we can add it back, and we can grind 2,000 and more experience levels. So you can actually do this over and over and over until you reach the 500,000 XP cap you can get each day from doing enchanting normal enchanting like this not from what i'm about to show you and the biggest addition the experimentation table which you have three things the chronomatron you have the ultra sequencer as well as super pairs so first up is the chronomatron as you can see we do the experiment here and it's pretty simple how it works it works basically similar to the video games you have on your mobile devices and such where you follow a pattern of sounds and visuals and you want to remember the pattern of time both these games are very memory based same with the last few i guess as well however this one both has a video and audio cue so it's pretty simple and we're just going to speed up a bit and we'll see you guys at the end when we're done the experiment And as you saw, I clicked the wrong one, but on purpose, because the higher levels you go, the less experience you're gaining for the more levels, just so people aren't sitting here grinding this mode forever. However, that is still 52,000 experience from doing this, as well as the other experiments that are going to come up, and the very end experiment, which is the most fun in my opinion, because you get the most experience from it. However, this one's pretty fun, and all you have to do is match up music. Pretty simple. All right, and we're gonna try the Ultra Sequencer next. So the way the Ultra Sequencer works is basically you click on little dots, like I said before, that have numbers and you remember the pattern. So there's one right there, and let's do this one. So basically you have one and then two, and then you look at it, one, two, three. So you click one, two, three. The premise is pretty easy, and you just gotta remember these. So one, two, three, and four. And let's just skip ahead here, and I'll show you guys when we're at the last level. And as you see, as we near the end here, there's just a few left, and boom, there we go. We got a total of 70,000 experience levels for our enchanting level, just from that, and as well as three extra clicks for the little mini game at the end. All right, so let's get into the super pairs now. So after completing both little mini games, we can now use our clicks that we got bonus, as well as the clicks that are already given to us in the grant experiment. And as you can see, it costs 75 experience levels. So to do it, however, I have 15 clicks. So what I want to do is I want to look for the dies. And I got one of my first try, actually. So now I'm going to look for another die. And that's a free reward. So now what I can do is I can use that free reward on anything I have. But all I have is this. So this is all I know. So I'm going to click it. And look, it'll give me the second one. So basically, the goal of this is to basically match two tiles that you open up. Now, every click you get, you use a click, obviously. So there is a harvesting book. I don't want that. I don't want enchantment books as the enchantment books I get are things I can get in an enchantment table already. So I'm looking for the dies only. So let's open the next one here and we got another die. So it's perfect. So as I get dies, I'm going to want to match them. That's enchant spider. I don't want one. Oh, well, we got one in an accident and another enchantment boost. So there was a 75,000 one right there. And look at that. Two 75,000 experience bonuses right away which is really nice because it is a reward. Another in die, and we didn't get any more dies. Very well, we'll just click randomly until these run out basically. We got a die, boom. And then the last click, it basically, you just click anywhere on the board, you won't get anything. And look at that, we just got 470 
thousand experience in a vampirism five book which isn't too bad actually that is absolutely insane amount of exp for free only cost me 75 experiment levels and i got that much exp towards my enchantment level and look at that we leveled up to level 30 which is crazy so now we can do the higher level experiment the next time we do it now you're probably thinking you read the title 2.3 million exp per day but that's only 470,000. well what i'm going to show you now is going to blow your mind so you can actually do this experiment three times per day all it costs is a bit of experience levels and some bits bits are earned from eating cookies and they will give it to bits over time if you don't know how that works it's really easy you just eat a cookie get some bits over time it costs around 1.5 to 1.1 million dollars in the auction house or the bazaar sorry as well as a few bit of xp levels which isn't too bad i think for the third one it costs 400 xp levels which is quite a lot however it is reachable so you can do this three times a day or if you don't want to spend the bits in the XP levels, it will renew every 19 and a half hours. So I do recommend doing this every single day you get it. Every 19 and a half hours, get on and do it. And as I showed previously, there's the enchantment table where you can enchant and disenchant items where there's a cap of 500,000 XP per day, but this is where the real money maker is. So I recommend doing this every 19 and a half hours. There's no reason not to. Now, in addition to those new experiments and the new enchantment table, there are new enchantments, seven of them. There's Chance, Siphon, Triple Strike, Thunderbolt, Respite, Prosecute, and Titan Killer. Bit of variations. Chance is basically luck for a bow. Siphon is an alternate to Lifesteal. Triple Strike is an alternate to First Strike. Thunderbolt, an alternate to Thunderlords. Respite, an re alternate to Rejuvenate. Prosecute, an alternative to Execute. And Titan Killer, an alternative to Giant Slayer. And for those wondering about the mod I was using, that because when you're going to do it, your screens are going to look different during the minigames. That is a mod called Skyblock Extras. The add-on is something they just added recently, which was approved by Doctor himself. So it is fine to use currently. Now that might change in the future. However, at the current moment, I do recommend going to get that. So their Discord link to get the mod will be in the description below. I highly recommend it if you want to do these experiments daily without fail. That is in total 2.3 million EXP per day if you do this every day. So once again, like I said, I do recommend doing it. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. A lot of you guys aren't subscribed and it would really help my channel out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.